Hello guys, how are you doing? It's Joseph Jacone with the CQ Real Estate Group, powered by Keller Williams Realty. We are towing this amazing property today. It's five bed, four bath, 5,600 square feet of living space. We have the whole team, minus one who we miss dearly. We have Rachel, Nicole, Nikella, Myra, Carlos, of course Joseph, and myself, Carissa. All right guys, I'm excited for this one, so let's go take a look. So once you first come in this foyer, you are going to see the most incredible artistic details in here. You're gonna look up and see a beautiful mural as well as custom crown molding around the entire room and a glass chandelier. Now on the walls in here and around every door trim, you are also going to notice custom door trim, wall medallions, as well as ceiling medallions and incredible concrete banisters going up that double staircase. You have these gorgeous stained glass windows. After the foyer, you walk into a first living area that has the checkerboard marble tile as well as a concrete custom fireplace. And above every door in here as well, you are going to get those same custom wall medallions and the custom crown molding around the entire room. And I'm gonna hand you off to Nikella. She is going to present to you this amazing dining room. One of the main themes that you're going to see in this home is the pillars, the columns. They represent strength and support. And you will see that this house was built to last. And they kind of lead you into this beautiful, old world dining room. This room was built to entertain. It could comfortably seat about 10 to 12 people, but I really wanted you to pay attention to how beautiful and how intricate this chandelier is. I also wanted to draw attention to this wood burning fireplace while your family's eating dinner and it's just very, very old world feeling. And again, we had talked about those columns. What do columns represent? Strength and support. Let's go join Carissa as she takes you on the tour of the kitchen. Entering in your kitchen, you have this beautiful symmetry starting with a centered island that's right in the middle of three beautiful columns and two soft arch pathways. The soft arches line perfectly with these three black iron windows that allow ample light to come into your breakfast nook and your kitchen. Details of your kitchen include a tile countertops with artistic backsplash. Your island has a similar feel with a blue tile countertop. There's also beautiful artistic details such as these really delicate brass hardware as well as little pockets of glass cabinetry to allow spaces for your beautiful plateware that you want all of your guests to experience and feel. And there's the convenience of under mount task lighting. This kitchen also hosts a double oven in the corner. Something you'll notice about this house is the ambiguity of design and style choices that they have. This perfect example, you have a Victorian-esque chandelier here in your dining nook, as well as these ceiling medallions, both here and in the kitchen. There's English, there's Italian, there's French, there's a little bit of every different cultural artistic detail in this home. Welcome to the primary downstairs bedroom where we have the checkerboard tile continuing on in here into this great big room where you'll see lots of attention to detail in here. Where I want to focus your attention is all the medallion onlays that are over each one of the doors. And then it carries on up into the ceiling where you'll see the floral cherub painting with more medallion onlays around it and the floral chandelier that sits underneath it. Further accenting the detail is the massive built-in bookcase here. You see with lots of attention to detail. It's got wood carvings throughout and all in the cabinetry you also see lots of detail focusing on arts, music, and theater. The bathroom in the corner of the bedroom also has a portal window with arches on the shower and a marble countertop. That's the downstairs. Now let's go upstairs with Nicole. Coming into the east wing of the home, you will notice a consistency in design with the checkered tile, the wall and ceiling medallions, as well as the glass chandeliers. This room brings in a ton of natural light from not one, but two sets of French doors. The first set of French doors is gonna bring you out to a private balcony, which overlooks your front courtyard, as well as your own private park across the street. The second set of French doors is going to lead you out to a faux balcony, which has beautiful views of the east side of the home. Coming back through the hallway and off to your right, you are gonna have a shared bathroom space, which has a custom marble shower with overhead built-in cabinets. And it's super unique. I've never really seen anything like this before. Coming into this spacious second guest bedroom, your eyes are immediately drawn 
to this gold and emerald stained glass window, which is really the focal point of the entire room. The center of it actually opens up, which really helps bring the outdoors in. You'll notice the continued artistic design throughout this room, as well as a third set of fringe doors, which leads you out to another faux balcony. I will now hand you off to Myra, who will be showing you the upstairs living space. Here we walk into this luxurious space where we are welcomed by this exquisite chandelier as well as a very oversized and unique wood-burning fireplace. We also notice the continuance of the architectural artistic features that are also found throughout the house as well as three large and solid pieces of artwork. And there are also two sets of French doors that lead you to the very spacious balcony where we can enjoy and overlook the courtyard. And now we're gonna go ahead and join Joseph. As you come into the Southwest Wing, you're gonna notice immediately that there's some similar continuity to the rest of the upstairs bedrooms in this space. You're gonna have the ceiling and overdoor medallions as well, and you're also gonna have the similar custom fireplace surroundings. You have two French doors facing the west side that are going out on to the faux balconies, and then you also have one set of French doors on this side heading out to the south. As you come on out to the south balcony, you look out onto your lovely courtyard, you have the tree lined park that's in front of you as well. A really nice atmosphere to come out and drink your coffee. Now coming into the suite's bathroom, you have a full bath in here. You have a Roman style tub as well as shower option. You have a walk-in closet. You have high ceilings. You have the similar medallions in here. One of the things I really like is check out this concrete window mall in with the stained glass. It's a really cool feature to bring in to the space. And that wraps up the upstairs today, guys. So let's go ahead and go down to the courtyard space and the guest house. Okay, now that the team has done the main house, let's go check out this guest house. Yes, this is actually where we had our team retreat and it was an awesome space yeah, today. Yeah, wasn't that cool? It was a great space, great environment. Look at this. It's something completely different that you don't see in Albuquerque. And it's, I don't think you can find this anywhere else in Albuquerque. Oh, this does not scream Albuquerque. Not at all. At all. Not at all. But we haven't really discussed that. This is actually an Airbnb. Yep. So you can stay in the guest house and the main house that our team highlighted. Absolutely. You can rent it for a day. Weddings, they even said come in here mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So this is a cool space in the middle of, we're probably about like UNM area, right? Yes, we're in the UNM area Crazy. south. A uh, really cool uh, part of town to be in as yeah. well. If you walk around, you can see what features and benefits that the room has to offer. Just how unique it was. Well, the most obvious thing and the best thing is oh. looking up. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up. Which, yeah. since we were here for a good part of the day, we were able to watch the light from the stained glass yeah. dance around the room at the different times of day, which yeah. was really cool. It was incredible. Yeah. It was incredible. And it has a fireplace to the back, which we didn't use, but we probably should have because it was a chilly day in mm -hmm. Albuquerque, right. New Mexico it today. Yes, it was very chilly. But we've got multiple <clears throat> places for eating, multiple places for gathering here in this room. Mm -hmm. it has the tile flooring throughout. And I don't know if you notice the symmetry of the room. You can see the wall columns like in the home. You have the soft arches that are the same measurements all the way around. Two of the doors on the west side of the property go into a bedroom each on either side. You have two doors going to the outside on either side of the fireplace as well. You have the little kitchenette that actually is fully equipped. Mm -hmm. There's a refrigerator, there's a stove, sink, everything you can cook mm -hmm. if you have your family here. And the other one's the entertainment room. There's billiards table mm -hmm. and the bathroom in that one. Yeah, and so like in the main house, the bathroom also has the Roman tub, it has a concrete window mullen with the stained glass in the middle. It seems like this cool little signature piece and throughout the rest of the house. Yeah. So here's what I think we should do. I think we should come back, do a tour of the outside and see what the outside has to offer. Let's check out that side. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I'm glad I talked us into staying and seeing this house in twilight. Yes. Though it is cold, it's totally worth it. So the front of this house has this appeal of symmetry. 
As you've noticed, it's throughout the entire home, but it starts right here as you drive up. There are two drives on either side, exactly symmetrical. There's a main gate that is right center with your main entrance. There are the two balconies that flank either side, the two stained glass windows, if you can tell there is a theme here. It is so unique, but the symmetry is really appealing. But the courtyard, which follows that same pattern of symmetry, looks amazing lit up right now. So should we go check that out? Yeah, let's go take a look at that. I'm excited. So, yeah, so I told you, right? <laughs> this is amazing. Really coming to this courtyard space, it really matches the grandiose feeling of the front of the home right into the courtyard. But I have a tranquil feeling when you come back here. Right? You go in, you can look around, you see the lighting coming up. It's calming my spirit as we speak, <laughs> <laughs> just looking at it. I just love the way that the lights just lights up the space. You can see, we're looking over to the, to the mansion, you have that balcony that's mm -hmm. looking onto the courtyard, the light coming in for where that patio space is. Just a really great space. And there is actually a hot tub. So if you're coming here for an Airbnb, you can come out here and join the courtyard. But I would love to see this in summer, especially that fountain turned on. I feel like this is a magical place. All the mm -hmm. trees, that's gotta be so green. Right. I feel like a summer stay would really do justice to this backyard. Yes, it really would. This has been such a cool tour for the CQ Real Estate yes, Group to go we on. we had our whole team here <laughs> yes, too yes. to tour this place together. <laughs> hey, but like always, we are the CQ Real Estate Group. We are passionate about Albuquerque, New Mexico mm -hmm. and the real estate industry. As you can tell, we like touring really unique, cool places. So if you also like seeing fun architecture, please follow along on our journey, like, subscribe, join us as we discover all that Albuquerque has to offer. And like always, thanks for watching. God bless.